welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold our house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell. Which we're in the process of selling. We also bought a static caravan in Devon. So that we could have seaside holidays with our friends and family. And we're now in the process of moving in to a small one bed home in Northampton. Ready for our next chapter. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. You find us leaving Northampton and heading towards oh. the boat. Yes, yes indeed. What a surprise. Yes, we are going to pick up another carload of stuff from the boat, bring it back to Northampton. I have to tell you about something that happened last night. Last night I went babysitting and I came back and I think it was about half eleven, quarter to twelve. When I got to, to back to Deb's house, it was all in darkness. And I tried the door and the door was locked. And I was like, Deb and Glenn, they're, they're asleep. They've gone to bed. I knew Glenn was tired because he'd said when he'd come home from work. It was so I thought, oh, maybe they've both had an early night. I creep in. I'm, I'm starving, so I sort of make myself a sandwich, trying to be as quiet as possible. Every time I'm opening the fridge, I'm shutting it really quietly. Go upstairs, go into the bathroom, turn the light on, shut the door. I'm, I'm creeping around. It's pitch black. I go into our bedroom. I get undressed, get my jammers on, in the dark, so I'm not to wake Glenn creep into bed. Glenn's not even bloody there. I'm like, Glenn? Glenn? He's not there. Not in the house. Him and Debbie have gone out. Yeah, all that creeping around, but they weren't even there. Someone's coming around to view the boat in an hour. So we're trying to get as much packed, but still keep it quite tidy. So we're just leaving the boat with a carload of stuff. While we were at the boat, we saw not one but two woodpeckers, two. Makes me wonder whether the one woodpecker that I've been seeing was in fact two all the time. They, they were like flirting with each other. We were gonna move the boat tomorrow, go up five locks, turn that shell around, come back, but we've decided not to. What we're going to do is concentrate on maybe emptying nutshell and getting some stuff sorted at the house. I feel like we've gained a day. So we're almost back at the little house and Naomi has come out. Hello darling, hello. hello. What do you think? Well, let me look at those stripy tights. Look at those. And oh. What number you got darling? Eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. While I've been playing Monopoly with the girls, Glenn has put the bed together. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Good stuff. Well, it's Saturday night and Glenn's going out, out. If you remember, our friend Paul turned 50 a couple of weeks ago and for his birthday, we bought two tickets to the British Open Snooker Championships. I think that's what it's called. Some sort of snooker competition that's been on the telly. They're going to watch that. I'm heading around Zara's this evening and I don't know what we're gonna be up to. I don't think it's gonna be as exciting as watching snooker. It might be more exciting than watching snooker. Robot on its travels this evening. It's bonfire night. Well, it's not actually. That was yesterday. But a lot of people are celebrating bonfire night tonight. There's lots of organised displays around Northampton. There's two robots waiting there to cross the road. After a long discussion of what me and Zara are going to do this evening while Paul and Glenn are at the snooker, we've settled on going to Sainsbury's, getting some deliciousness. If we we time it perfectly we could watch some of the fireworks the snooker might be on tv so we're going to see if we can spot glenn and paul they should be in the front row a firework went off it was huge 
just over there. Oh man, we jumped out of our skin. Sarah's road safety skills aren't great. She doesn't wait for the green man. She just legs it across the road. <laughs> kind of lucky if I survived tonight. Just coming into the Sixfield area of Northampton. There's a lot of restaurants and places to eat here. So we're going to find some food. And then by the time we've eaten, we should get a free firework show. Right, let's grab something to eat first. We're ordering cider. There's parma violet, rhubarb and custard. What was the other one? Toffee apple. Toffee apple cider. And I'm gonna go for that one as well. Rhubarb and custard. Let's give it a go. They weren't lying when they said that's a green burger, weren't they? So we've had something to eat and we've come out here and the actual fireworks are over there in the distance. They haven't started yet, but a lot of people like us have got the same idea of not paying for a ticket to get in, but to uh, just watch from this hill. Hey, fireworks are started. Off we go. Do you know what fireworks night reminds me of? Every year, that is not long to Christmas. I think this is the grand finale. Oh, look at that. That's it. That must be it. So we've come in to get cake on the way back to Zars and uh, thought we'd have a quick look at some of the clothes and the homewares. Oh, look. I mean, these aren't real. I'd have to replace them all with real plants, but they still look good. This is fantastic. If any of my children are watching Christmas, I love all this stuff. I've got a step away, not another notebook. Oh, look at that. It's only £2.50. Look at it. It's beautiful. Let's have a look at the cake selection. Oh, look at that. What's there? Two? In two. Oh, that's delicious. It's at this point when I remember all the negative comments that I've got that say that I eat too much cake. As if I need reminding. Stroll back to Zara's with our cake and we'll see if Mr Warner's on the telly watching snooker. Look at that deliciousness. I feel like we've earned this cake having walked for miles to get it. So we're keeping our eyes open to see if we can see Glenn and Paul. We've just seen them on the telly. There they are. Paul and Glenn on the telly watching the snooker. Sarah, what have you just done? Four tickets to go see Teddy Swims. Oh, excellent. So February next year. I love having stuff in the diary to look forward to. That's in February and I'm already looking forward to it. It's quarter to one. Glenn's just got back from the snooker. Boy, that was a long evening. We're just heading back to Debbie's and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. We are off. We're in a bit of a rush. I'll come back to you in a minute. I need to put a postcode into the sat nav. So turn we're... Right on the Road. Turn right, Mr Warner, turn right. We are off to pick up some shelving. We found them on Facebook Marketplace. What is it? 30 pounds, 30 pounds. They're in high demand. The lady placed the advert 30 minutes ago. She's been inundated with people that want them and we're like, we can get to you in 15 minutes. So off we go. Then we got so much running around to do today. Turn left onto me away, ring road. But I'll fill you in on that as we go. Our shelving. It's rubbish. It's not rubbish. It's just a bit smaller. It's for yeah, a doll's think... house. No, it's not for a doll's house. It's just a bit smaller than what we wanted. But Pictures we of the Stevens. <laughs> yeah, but we we brought it anyway. It was thirty pound, and it will be useful for under the stairs. There's a cupboard. It can oh, go in there. Oh. Well, that goes all right in there, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Little larder there. Little pantry. Look at that. Oh, I'm well happy with that. Okie dokie, that job done. Now on to the boat where we're emptying the engine room. Right, Mr Warner, let's get emptying. I haven't got any boxes, but I've got a box of bags, so I'm going to use those. 
plan today. Glenn wants to empty the engine room. I'm going to try and empty the food cupboard. This is the one I'm not looking forward to. I spilled a bottle of cider vinegar as I was emptying the cupboard. So everywhere smells a bit vinegary. But as I was wiping it up, I realised it cleaned the cupboard out amazing. Like much better than the uh, cleaner. I'm resorting to using clothing as packaging materials to try and keep these things safe. I can hear the wood beggar. There, look. Miss Warner's cleaning the worktop down the back and he was like, oh, it's really grubby. I was like, Glenn, what you need is some spilt vinegar. It does stink, but it works though, doesn't it? There you go, Mr. Warner. Top tip. We have just had a lovely chat with Rachel and Spence who's, who were walking past and they shouted over that they watch our vlogs. So we just had a lovely chat with them. Glenn went to the same school, born in the same year, raised in the same town. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It was so lovely to chat to them. Right. We are now running late. Yeah, we're running a little bit late. It was worth it though, it was worth it. So we've got to get this van load of stuff to the office. We've got to unload it. We want a super value roast dinner. And one of the places where you get a good roast dinner in Northampton is at the casino. You don't have to gamble or anything, but basically you get like a two course meal for, for like 10 pounds and it's a lovely roast dinner. I think it runs from 12 to 6, I think. Yeah. So so we need to get there before they stop serving. Every time Mrs Warner's tried to do this, she never gets it right. Oh. <laughs> Bingo. Third time lucky by the looks of it. We've got, we're in a bit of a rush. We'll see. Chase her down. So you get her, so you get Mrs. Warner. what we call speed unloading we've had to put seven big martini glasses when i say martini glasses i don't mean what you drink out i mean the big vases deb needs those for something she's doing at the shop and we've put seven of those on that'll save deb having to come and get them it's 20 to 5 we, we're gonna make it we're gonna make it in time for our roast dinner Right, off we go. Our roast dinner is calling. Delicious prawns to start. So I've gone veggie. Well, we're back from having dinner out and we didn't have dessert, oh no. And I'll tell you why, not because we were being good. Oh no, the last couple of weeks, I have been far from good in all matters of food and junk food and cake. Let me show you what Debbie made this afternoon. Da, da, da. Delish. Right. I'm going to put the kettle on, make Mr Warner a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Uh, tea and cake, Mr Warner. So I forgot how rubbish Monday morning traffic was. I haven't had to go to work for ages on a Monday. I'm only doing it this week, thankfully. But the traffic has been chaos coming out of Northampton. Let's Mrs Warner with a list of jobs to do. I've got a list of jobs to do myself. So um, let's see how the day unfolds for us both. It's half past nine and the day has been a tad stressful. That's all I can say about it. Let's hope it gets better. Take a moment. Take a moment. We're at Debbie's. Well, I'm at Debbie's. Glenn's left this morning for work. There was much traffic and chaos. Glenn's working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. 
he doesn't usually work on a Monday and Tuesday. And the traffic was busy and and I hadn't left enough fuel in my car. It's all very stressy. Then, because I needed the keys today for Glenn's car, for the office and for the little house. Glenn couldn't find the keys to the little house. He thinks he'd left them in Debbie's van. Debbie's van had gone out early this morning on deliveries. I think I've got a spare set. Just stress. That's that's all. Just just stress. So, so the plan is today. There's much running round to be doing, but I'm going to try and and go through today with a feeling of ease and flow. That's what we're going for. Graceful. Mm, that's not a word usually associated with me, but we're going to try and get through today with ease, grace, and flow. Oh yes. Let's set the tone. I don't want to bring this stressy morning with me into the day. I'm not going to tell you all the places that I'm going and the things I'm doing today. Because I'm going to take you with me and we'll just let the day unfold. What I've got to do though, before I leave, I've got a bit of admin to do for Deb's shop. And I'm going to do that first. Get that done and then we'll be off. Right, that didn't take long. Now on to the little house. I've got a carload of stuff that I need to unpack. Remember our mantra for today, grace and ease. We didn't get very far. Uh, I've just remembered that I've left the bedroom window open. Before we leave, I'm going back in to shut all the windows. Six degrees outside, bit chilly. Right, let's go and see if any of the keys that I've got fit the door to the little house. One of them should do. Oh, bingo, that was easy. Right, car unloaded. I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes to unpack some of these bags and then I need to be on my way. Grace and ease, grace and ease. Something has leaked in one of the food bags and everything is covered in like a sticky stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna sort that out. I found the culprit. There was considerably more of this. Yeah, everywhere. That is done. Well, I mean, it's not done. I've basically just shoved it in the cupboard. Get back in the car drive to the office actually before i go let's water the seats even got my watering can i've got deb's mirrors need to go put these in the car and get the gray box and bring it back into here so we've got four hours left of the book troubled blood that we've been listening to on audio for months and me and glenn have been listening to that together and we save it for long journeys we're going down to devon this weekend we've got four hours left on that yeah anyway i can't listen to that when i'm not with glenn so i've decided to download a new audio book for me i quite often have a couple on the go and i'm gonna down download this one a man called ove by frederick backman i've just got to finish up here once i get into the car i'll have a listen to that i'm looking forward to it oh it's a bit chilly got an absolute boot full of stuff in the van i've got to go and take it down the tip yeah we're all back to wearing masks in the office again i was reminded that i need to wear a mask so i've got that with me now it's turning into quite a nice day so next stop is to drop the glass plates off at Deb's and I also need to get some food for tonight. We're at the boat so it needs to be something that's like pre-packaged that I can just stick in the oven. Right, media, sauce, got to try and remember how to do this, iPhone, right connecting and then this is audible oh here we go hodder and stoughton audio presents a man called uva a man called uva not ove right shopping done plates dropped off time to get back to the boat i'm in some changing rooms and i've got to stick these notes boards up 
So that's notice board number one. I've got two to do in this old building and I've got six to do in the new building. So this building is being refurbed soon, so it didn't, you know, it's got to be neat, but it's not got to be perfect. It will be perfect. But what I'm saying is they need to take them down soon because it's all being refurbed. So anyway, let's turn the lights off in here, go and do the next one. It's proper chilly in here. I'm going to light a fire. Yeah, I know. Don't laugh. I'm going to light a fire and all is going to be well, all right? This may be the last fire I light on Nutshell, so I'm going to give it a good go. Right, I'm feeling optimistic about that fire. Keep your fingers crossed. I just want to say, it's 10 minutes later, fire's still not lit. Okay, fire is lit. I'm not showing you a close up, it looks a bloody mess, but it's lit. Look at me, I'm a fire maker or starter or whatever. Anyway, I made a fire. <laughs> My fire? still lit oh yes pumping out that heat it is i have just had a lovely conversation with julie from we're on the move oh yeah it was great to catch up with julie so i better crack on with some packing i'm going to continue listening to my new audio book i'm loving that by the way yeah i'm going to do some packing and then i'll catch you later what's going on today well i'm here waiting for someone who's going to come and look at the boat then I was going to go to Northampton, pick up Leo from school. That's all changed now. Leo is off school ill, so I don't have to pick him up. Uh, anyway, I better crack on tidying up and putting some more stuff in the car. I'm unsure whether I'm going to drive over to Northampton today to unload this car load of stuff. Because the only reason I was going to Northampton was because of Leo. We'll see what happens. The couple have popped round to have a look at the boat. They've now left. So I need to find myself some food and we haven't got much in the boat. I need to see what I can rustle up. Oh man, I've struck gold. Found a couple of these. I mean, they're out of date and they're rock hard, but I'm sure I can do something. No mould. That's always a bonus. Got a bit of chilli jam. Oh, I found some cheese as well. Look, I went from nothing to a feast. It's five o'clock outside. Mr Warner should be back any moment now. I can't believe how dark it is outside. Mr Warner, he has returned. Oh, yeah. Bearing groceries. I went shopping today. That looks like a lot of deliciousness. Well, I was just worried concerned of your welfare during the day when I'm not here. <laughs> no, this, I bought that as an extra actually. I don't what really is like. it? Oh, um, cheesy pizza. Snail dough bread. Uh, that's for me. Like luxury cottage pie. Oh, you like the luxury? Um, some, some chips. Okay. You know what I say about chips. Yeah, lifetime on the hips or something like that. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? You have got smoked have floriting. Oh, nice. Two of those. Oh, Glenn, we've got to stop eating then proper. I'll, I'll, I'll... Darling, I've just emptied the cupboards of soup. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, but they're not here, though, and you're here. <laughs> and some biscuits. Well, so, that's a mighty so fine feast. At least you've got bread and soup. <laughs> and that or whatever you don't eat tonight, you can have tomorrow. Mr Warner's just reminded me, it's Tuesday, Bake Off tonight. So that is Bake Off quarter final done. Oh, it's a good watch. It was a good one. It's only quarter past nine, but I'm going to bed with a book. I'm reading a bit more of this, Reclaiming Conversation. I, I don't know if you remember, but I started it in lockdown, loved it, got like a quarter of the way through and then put it somewhere safe. I found it whilst I was packing. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to read a bit more of that. And also, tomorrow, I'm speaking with Paul and Maxine for our midweek meaningful conversation. And we're talking technology. So this will give me food for thought. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's all I can say to you. Glenn's gone off to work. I have much running about to do today. Mm, there's a surprise. Didn't see that coming, did you? Mr Warner, before he left for work, lovingly made me a massive bucket of black coffee. So the boat is more or less empty now. I... I'm heading to the little house this morning. I'm picking up Leo today. I'm going to my mum's. I'm going to stay at my mum's. Leo's having tea at my mum's. And I'm doing the meaningful midweek conversation. 
and I really want to not feel that that's jammed into a day of busyness. I really want to take just some time to sit down and, and indulge in a gorgeous conversation at lunchtime. So I'm heading to the little house now. The car is full and I need to get that emptied. Okie dokie, I made really good time. It's half past nine. I have so much stuff in the back here. I need to get that in. I need to get my battery charged. I need to crack on. I haven't even unpacked the car yet and I'm a hot sweaty mess. What I have done, this whole area behind me was just covered in bags, bags and boxes. I've put some in the cupboard downstairs and I've run the rest upstairs. I've not unpacked anything because now I need to unpack all the stuff in the car. This is more or less the final load. Although there's no heating in this house at the moment, I don't need it. I'm boiling. I've set up, ready for the midweek meaningful conversation. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I haven't got a kettle, so I'm going to do it in the coffee machine. Just got off the computer with Paul and Maxine talking about technology for our meaningful midweek conversation. So great. Love it. Right, I'm here at the office. There's a parcel to pick up and then I've just got to do a couple of quick dispatches and then I'll be on my way to pick Leo up. Right, quick stop at the office done. You should have seen the mess of the box that I taped up. Oh, Glenn would have... Glenn would have shaken his head in disgust. I'm now on my way to Leo's school to pick him up. I haven't picked him up from school for years. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm here to pick Leo up. Mm, what do you reckon? Okay, so there's the car in front of me. There's a junction. Should I have pulled up? Someone will park in front of me, but I just don't think it's, it's good to park right opposite the junction. I just googled it. Yeah, rule 243 of the highway code states you must not park opposite or within 10 metres of a junction. I feel justified now to leave the big gap. I've picked Leo up. We've come to Mum's. It's like getting the gang back together. Leo's going to stay for dinner. Are we going to play some games? Yes. Shall we? We'll play some games. Are you up for this, Mum? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mum's up for it. First thing we're going to do it's a double-sided jigsaw of 500 pieces. I need all those caps. Are we ready for this? Well, we're not doing very well, are we? This is what I've managed to do. Leo, what you managed to do down I've there, I've got these darling. three pieces that go together. You've got three pieces, but we don't even know, because it's double-sided, whether we're working on the same side. Well, we haven't done too well with the puzzle, have we, Leo? No. No. We are off around to the chip shop. What are you having, Leo? Chip. Chips, chips, chips. Come on, let's go. Your mum's come to pick you up, Leo. you got to go. See you tomorrow. No worries, darling. Bye. Molly's just sitting here, staring at me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Thursday. Thankfully, last day at work today, this week, I feel, I feel like I've worked full time. It's Jeff's birthday today, so we're going to see Jeff and Sally later on uh, before we head off to Devon. I think we're going to head off in the morning, first thing. We're going to stay Friday, Saturday and come back Sunday. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's, it's been a long week. It's been a long week and a lot going on. Last night I fitted this new blind. Fits the window much, much better. Uh, also moved the other one over here because the one that was here before was a bit was a bit ropey. Just wanted to get everything um, in here nice and clean. Made a little repair to the floor. Anyway, I need to go to work now because it's eight o'clock and it takes me quite a while to get there. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I'm at Mum's and I am having a better morning than Mr. Warner. Yeah, flat tire. Never. A good way to start the day yeah he's got to live to work and we need to sort out getting him home from work but that's for later today mum and i we are strolling into town to do a little bit of shopping let's go it's a very november day out here not too cold actually but damp i haven't walked through here for ages mum there's always a few squirrels knocking about here. You've got to be careful because the leaves are quite slippy. Yes. Christmas lights are up. 
they've taken all the markings down there's no one-way system so just brought Jeff a birthday card and our grandson's 11 this month so just brought him a birthday card too just having a look in boots mum's getting so good with all her Christmas presents she's almost done mum's looking for Amazon gift card for Glenn there isn't any we're going Wilkies and have a look right let's have a look in Wilco's everyone's got their Christmas trees up now uh, having a coffee with mum so we're back at mum's I'm going to check in with Mr Warner to see if his day got any better oh I hope so my mum my mum's cat Molly sits on the back of the chair and like what does she do mum she nibbles my hair she nibbles your hair this must be very tasty she's a strange one mum's garden is still looking lovely it's quite a lot of colour still in it for November so I'm leaving mum's I've got way more stuff that I'm taking with me than I came with that's not the way it's supposed to go but mum's got me a bag of goodies there's like crisp biscuits and all the junk in there and also mum's got some duvet covers that'll fit on our new bed so all good hi I'm at the office again let's get in there get those dispatches done get out of there I love it when I crack through all the jobs so that's the dispatching done now on to pick Leo up so I've picked Leo up and we're here at the shooting range where I want to get a voucher for Jeff's birthday let's go get a voucher so here we are at the little house so as I've said before this house has been sort of in the family for ages and this is the first house that Leo ever lived in in fact he came home from hospital when he was four hours old to this very house he can't remember it so we're going to get some stuff unpacked and then repacked ready for our trip to Devon and I'm going to get Leo something to eat and wait for his mum to come and pick him up how crazy is that? Ice cream van just going down the street. That's just craziness. It's like November. Anyway, best just pick Leo up. I'm now heading back to the boat and need to ring Mr. Warner to see if he's got home and the whole flat tyre situation is sorted or at least being sorted. Anyway, let's get back to the boat. So I've just got home. I've had a bit of a call from my mum actually. She looks like someone could have tried to do a distraction burglary on her today saying that they wanted to check her garden to see if there was a cat there she knew they didn't live around there and um, luckily enough the neighbour noticed the man sitting in the car outside while the girl was knocking on the door my mum didn't let him in no chance of that anyone that's met my mum she's still a little bit scary she wouldn't let her in the house and she said she'd just been out in the garden there was no cat in there but I do think I need to report it so that was a bit of a drama she was a little bit upset but it does mean that I can now put some um, motion cameras in her in her porch for her just so I can keep an eye on what's going on so anyway that's my bit of drama I've just home from work I obviously had a flat tire this morning I didn't video that morning because I was so fed up I'm at the boat in the smart car Mrs Warner was in Wellingborough with my car and I drove down the the path today thought the car don't feel quite right sure enough flat tire uh, the tires are pretty worn I think they're the originals that came on the car basically with a smart car you don't get a spare wheel or any tools basically you're meant to carry tire weld with you oh, I had that in the car because I'm organized like that and I only put it in in the summer funnily enough but and also got a, a electric pump in the car and I went to inflate the tire to see if it'd go up just to get me to work and put the tire weld in and the valve was perished and split so as quick as I was putting it in it was coming out so it weren't going to go anywhere so I had to abandon the car I was going to be late for work and I really want to say thank you to Carolyn because she really did do me a favour today and she picked me up from work as well she came straight down she hadn't she was just about to leave to Milton Keynes picked me up I got to work at five past nine so I was five minutes late and considering all that had gone on you know that was pretty pretty good going I have borrowed the jack out of the work van because i've got no jack no tools nothing here um because i've taken everything out of the boat obviously it's all gone to northampton mrs warner's on her way back now because we're popping around chili jam jeff tonight because it's his birthday boy today so happy birthday chili jam jeff i think he's 59 he might tell me off for that i'm pretty sure he's 59 anyway we're going to go around um, jeff's tonight for a takeaway and i think i need it i'm exhausted we were going to devon tonight but we've put that off to tomorrow it'll be cool to 
get down the caravan and chill out. We've got to have a look at the cupboard as well, because obviously you've got a leak in the caravan and try and get that sorted out while we're there in the next couple of days. Hey, I've arrived. Oh, that was a long journey. Right, let's shut the gate. Right, let's go. It feels like it's been a long day. I was wondering if Mr Warner had got that fixed, but the fact that the smart car door is open and the car's on a jack, I'm thinking probably not. Let's go find out what's going on. Ah, huh, Mr Warner. On we go, it's Jeff's birthday. Let's go wish him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So, look, no plastic, no plastic round the top. Oh, Jeff, not with a knife. It could all go horribly wrong. It's not sweet particularly, and you can find it. Oh, man. It threw the cans off. Yeah, because they're quite thin, aren't they, those cans? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, that's uh, oh, 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 Ninja. Yeah. Look, yeah. I mean, it's better not to have the plastic, but that I could see an increase in knife yeah, injuries. Yeah, nice right. pen, is Hopefully, we can get an inch and takeaway delivered. Cheers. I'm saying, I've only had one glass of wine. I feel really drunk. Miss a go, Glenn. Oh, it's a tense game of Uno going on here. A big pile. <gasps> We're still waiting for the takeaway. We've drunk so much wine. We've played so many games of Uno. I need food to soak up the alcohol. You went to dance school? Yeah, no way. way. No way. <laughs> Suspicious mind. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to this food. I am so hungry. Proper looking forward to this. It smells amazing. Chicken tikka, onion bhaji. That's vegetable curry. That's sag paneer. That's mine. And I know that's rice. Yum. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Friday. Yay! I haven't got a hangover this morning. Yeah, I was surprised too. Anyway, Mr. Warner's going off to pick up a new tyre for the smart car. We were going to leave super early to get down to Devon, but we want to get that tyre sorted, so when we come back, we haven't got to sort it. So, that's where he's off to. Right now, he's organised it, he's just got to go and pick it up. I'm going to get dressed and get ready. Driving down to the southwest on a Friday is not the best plan. I mean, it's just not. When Mr. Warner gets back, we'll be setting off. We're both excited to finish the audio book we've been listening to forever, which is The Troubled Blood by Robert Galbraith. Mr. Warner has limited tools here. Mr Warner's back, just put the fixed tyre back on the smart car, fingers crossed that holds. So Jeff's having our bench and he's just pulling it down to his mooring. Jeff knows what he's doing. You can, you can tell he's been a truck driver for years, hasn't he? Right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Now. Jess just thinking the, it's going to be like skis. Let's have a look. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Oh, Jeff knows what he's doing. Look. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that, that works. Jeff's got a spot just for that. It's quarter to eleven. We're just stopping for coffee. Shiverham. At Shiverham. So, so we're not far from Swindon. No. Yeah, just no. outside Swindon. 
not far now it's not been a bad journey actually well we went through some rain but no major traffic what's the time glenn oh, half one, one. It's not been too bad at all. The site is actually closing down this month. There's no holiday makers on site uh, no, no, this time no, of no. year. That ends at the end of October, but owners are allowed access until the end of November. The bar's shut, and the entertainment complex, the swimming pool, they're all shut. A lot of leaves, a lot, a lot of leaves. In we go. I'm just looking. Beth looks like she left Leo's and Alexis's coat and a balloon. You know how much I hate balloons. I think Leo said he'd left his coat somewhere. Look how well that plant's doing. A little bit of water there. We're going to take that back with us. And this one. Doing well. So our plan is to pack the caravan up. I mean, when I say pack it up, there's not a great deal that we've got to do so that's the objective over the next couple of days but there's nothing to stop us enjoying a bit of devon while we're here how unbelievable is that we just arrived and a van just pulled up it's the man that's come to look at mending the chimney he didn't know we were going to be here today we didn't know he was going to be there today literally we have just arrived i haven't even got the bags out the car that's good timing glenn's out there having a chat about the leak i wish we could say that we were going to do something interesting oh we're not we've decided to just sit down watch telly eat cheese on toast we don't often do nothing mr warner's just said wise words it's just said sometimes we just need to stop toppings for cheese on toast glenn's going fake marmite i am going chili jam We've watched game shows and cooking programs and now I'm drinking wine and we're having a takeaway. It feels like indulgently lazy. I didn't take much footage this week. Nothing. Nothing, I, really, I think. We, we've not been together much this week. I don't know what, what happened. In, anyway, so I'm sorry I didn't take much footage. Things will calm down and I will... Mm. I will... Um, oh, you, you will try harder? If you'd like to see more footage from Mr. Warner, can you tell him? Because I nag him all the time, he don't listen. We're down here till Sunday, and then we're back, and then we've got a bit of boat moving to do. I, I actually now cannot wait to just be in the house and just sort of get on with living, rather than just moving juggling. and juggling, juggling from one place to another. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough of us moaning. We're not moaning. Thank you so much if you've managed to get to the end. We really appreciate you. We won't keep chatting. This video's long enough as it is. So take care and we'll see you next week. Bye. Cheers, bye. bye. bye.